I have with me Mistress Tara Indiana, and she has been a professional and lifestyle dominatrix for over 29 years. That's amazing. 30 years. Really? Yes, I haven't updated my profile. Oh, uh, over 30 years. years. 30 years. Welcome. Thank you. First of all, what does that mean, a dominatrix? Um, well, I mean, it, I guess the, the simplest way to put it is uh, a woman um, uh, who is an alpha female. Like, you teach men to be alpha males. I teach women to be alpha females. So it's a woman that is in charge of herself and her sexuality and kind of does what she, and sort of runs the show. Boss lady. <laughs> and so does it mean like those ladies who beat, who beat weak men? Like they on their we knees beat all kinds of a, men, but it's yeah. not always just beating, you know, it's other things. Like what? Oh, uh, any number of things. Um, not all S and M is about pain. Um, there's, you know, fantasy role play, but I mean, certainly there's, you know, bondage, uh, tease and denial, uh, CBT, um, fantasy role play, all kinds of different things you can do. Uh, what is DBT? CBT. What is CBT? Oh, I don't know if I can say that oh. on this show. Oh, it's something nasty. It's nasty. Oh. oh, amazing. And so you've been doing this for thirty years. Yes. And you were walking down the road, mm -hmm. and one day you decide, you know, let me go and be a dominatrix. Am I saying it right? Dominatrix? Dominatrix. Okay. Um, you walking down the road, and you decide, my calling is to be a dominatrix. No, I didn't realize it was my calling right away, you know. Um, I, I got into it in the beginning because uh, uh, I was an entrepreneur, and I had a small business I was trying to raise money for, and... Uh, being a dominatrix was the only kind of work in the sex industry that didn't actually involve sex, where you didn't have to have any sex with them. Oh. So um, that's how I you know, sort of fell into it. So initially my intentions were financially financial, but after about five years, I realized this is my calling, this is what I wanna do. And when you say it's your calling, mm -hmm. is it a calling from God? Or what do you mean it's your calling? I think so. You think I'm a God would want you to do this? Yes. <laughs> and why? <laughs> what the? I was. I thought you were going to ask me if um, if men are going to be in a, if we're in a fallen state. Are oh we yeah, we get to that. that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Why would God have you do that? Ah, uh, let's see. Why would God have me do that? Um, because um, I am a descendant of Lilith, and so it is my natural uh, state. Uh, to dominate men. That's my natural state. Really? I'm not descendant of Eve. I'm descendant of Lilith. And who was Lilith? She was the first woman. Oh, uh, you mean Eve? Before Eve. Oh, before Eve. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're descended from her. Correct. Oh. Um, are you a Christian? No, I'm Jewish. You're Jewish. Mm -hmm. And do you believe that human beings are in a fallen state? Yes. And what does that mean to be in a fallen state? Uh, to be in a fallen state, I mean, if I'm talking from a Jewish perspective, it's uh, sin is what separates you from the light, and the light is God. So anything that, any deeds that you do that separate you from the light of God are sin. And so, okay, and so do you believe, why would God have you degrade men like that? Well, it's not always degradation um, because men are naughty and they need to be corrected. By mommy? Um, sometimes by mommy, <laughs> but not always. Do you enjoy doing this? Oh, I love it. You love it. Mm -hmm. What do you love about it? I love the endorphins. I love the adrenaline rush. Um, uh, what I do is therapeutic for a lot of people. Um, uh, so there's sort of a sense of helping people. I like helping people therapeutically. Um, and, but mostly, um, I mean, mostly what I do right now is I teach women how to dominate men. That's primarily uh, how I make my living. Um, and that's really what I take the most joy and pleasure from, is teaching other women to dominate men. Really? Uh, do men dominate women like that? They do. They do. Mm -hmm. So they're, what do they call? A uh, male dom would be called a master, sir. Oh, know. I see. Those and so there the are titles. women who are seeking men to dominate them. 
Yes, absolutely. Amazing. Do you teach men to do it to women too? No. And why not? Because there are plenty of people that do that. Oh, I see. You know. There are organizations or companies out there that are teaching men to do that. Oh yeah, there's all kinds. I mean, if you go, if if you you know do a quick Google search, you'll see that there are lots of classes that teach men to do that. Yeah. Um, and that's just not my calling. I don't have any judgment about it. Uh, it's just not my thing. Since uh, the man is the head of the woman, mm -hmm. he's over the woman. Why would God want the man to let a woman dominate him? Well, that is the fallen state. Um, it's because oh, this only happened in the fallen state. That's right. Because the the because there in the, in the story of Genesis, first uh, uh, man is created. Uh, they're, they're created side by side first in the in uh, Genesis. I think it's seven. You probably know better yeah. than I do. Seventeen twenty two something that, like something that something like that, right? Um, so that's the story of the creation of. So they're both created of the earth. Both. Um, so originally, man and woman were in an equal relationship, and it was uh, it is the punishment, it is the fall of man that this has been reversed. Well, maybe that's in the Jewish religion, but mm -hmm. the man came from God, mm -hmm. and the woman came from the the man, the rib of the no, man. No, Eve came from. Uh, the rib. Yeah, but I don't Lilith know about this. did not come from. I've well, never heard about Lilith at all, so that may be a Jewish thing. Uh, it's, uh, well, it's Old Testament, uh, yeah. Talmud, Zohar, all that stuff. Are you married? I am divorced. Divorced. Did you dominate your husband, your ex? Not in an S&M sense. I mean, in a sort of like, uh, you know, happy wife, happy life sense, right. you know. Um, he was a very good man. Um, so not in that sense, but I, I was uh, I was probably the head of the household, if that's what you're asking. You were head of your husband. Yeah. Amazing. Did you like that? Yeah. Do you like being dominated? Usually not, you know. But sometimes, you know, you need to relax and unwind, and you get tired of making all the decisions, and you yeah. want someone else to be in charge for a little while. That's right. So were you raised with father and mother? Yes. And and they were Jewish. Yes. You don't look like a Jew. I'm surprised you're Jewish. Yes, I'm Jewish. Um, so this is like, is this like a Jewish part of the Jewish establishment or Jewish culture? Are you talking about S and M or it, Lilith? Uh, Lilith and the S M M thing and all that. No, Lilith is part of Jewish uh, mysticism. Um, S and M, uh, you know, is something that uh, exists in about. I would say eight to eleven percent of the population across the board are oriented this way. Really? Mm -hmm. So is this lifestyle well known in the Jewish culture because of Lilith? Um, I don't think most people would be sophisticated enough to make that leap. Um, but yeah, I think it's probably one of the reasons that generally in Jewish culture uh, is matriarchal. And this is happening. Uh, because men and women are in a fallen state. That's why. Yes, the, it's not natural for right. men to dominate women. That's the fallen state. It's not and natural for women to dominate men. No, it's the other way. The, the punishment from God, right? Right. Is that uh, Adam is going to dominate Eve. That's the fallen state. Once, no, where well, the fallen state is uh, once Eve disobeyed her husband, because prior to that, when she obeyed her husband and listened mm -hmm. to her husband, mm -hmm. things were fine. The order was there. But once Eve well, listened Well, Lilith to was it, actually the one that tempted Eve. You know the snake in the tree? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the snake and you see the Lilith. snake? And you, have you seen the image? It's like a snake that's half snake, half woman holding an apple? I may have seen that around. Right. That's Lilith. Oh. So Lilith... So Lilith the reason, is the snake. Lilith was the first woman. And basically what happened is, um, since they were created equal, both of the earth, okay, uh, and God breathed life into their nostrils, both of the earth, and told them to name all the creatures, when it came time to procreate, uh, Lilith didn't want to procreate the way animals do, right? Because animals do it from behind, right? She wanted to be on top, and Adam said no. <laughs> no. So she left him. And she went and she was wandered in the uh, by the Dead Seas, and then God saw what happened, and He didn't know what to do. 
So he put a sleep over Adam and then he created e uh, Lilith of Adam's rib that she would be submissive onto him. She was the second woman. Is this taught in the Jewish religion? Because I never heard anything like this. Yeah. Oh, this is taught in the Jewish religion? I mean, there are, look, in the Jewish religion, there are Reform, there are Orthodox, there are Hasidic, there are all different sects, right? Right. So it isn't taught widely throughout oh. all the sects, but yeah, it's part of, uh, it's, it's, it's part of, you know, uh, the, you know, Jewish mysticism, yeah. So do the Jewish women dominate? When I say dominate, I don't mean put them on their knees and yeah. beat them. But the Jewish women dominate over Jewish men? Yes. Really? Yeah. Be Jewish men are, are naturally submissive. Wonderful. Wow, yeah, I didn't yeah, know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No wonder you're thinking this way. Yeah. Uh, because in the Christian world, it's the other way around. Mm -hmm. The man dominate over the woman, mm -hmm. meaning he's the head of the woman mm -hmm. as God is the head of is the man. Is that in the, in the Old Testament or the New Testament? Both. Is, is, Where is it first cited? Uh, read Genesis. I've Where read Genesis. Heaven, yeah. But it's what not part like of you Genesis read a Jewish say? Genesis. No. Because I've never read that or heard that. Well, if you want to but, whip it out, I'll show you right where it is. Well, no, but let me tell you this. Yeah. Um, but in the normal religion, in the uh -huh. Christian religion, uh -huh. God is the head of the man, right? Uh -huh. Christ is the head. And the man is the head of the woman because she came from the but, man. But where, where does it say that in the Bible? But let me just finish this. Okay. Right. But when, um, when Eve went and listened to the serpent, mm -hmm. the snake, then the snake became her God. Mm -hmm. And when the man listened to the woman, mm -hmm. she became his God. Mm -hmm. But then Christ came and put it back in order, whereas men are now over the woman again, whereas the woman is beneath the man. Mm -hmm. But most people are Did not... Did Jesus say that? Most people are not aware of that. Uh -huh. And so I guess... But I had no idea that the Jewish people are nationally living that way and that, that's taught in the Jewish religion. I've mm -hmm. never heard that before. Well, I wouldn't say the S and M thing is taught in the Jewish religion. <laughs> right. I don't want to. But yeah, Lilith is a part of Jewish mysticism. I, I do and notice. Kabbalah. I do notice that Jewish women are very controlling. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know the men were allowing them to be that way. They're not allowing them to be. That's the natural state of affairs for them. So, so there's nothing to allow. Wow. Yeah. Do you? Did your mother dominate your father? Not in the traditional sense. Uh, I mean, actually, they had a very conventional marriage, uh, monogamous marriage, uh, married till he passed away tragically. They were very devoted to each other. I forgot what your question was. I started rambling did, about my parents. Did your mother dominate your father? Not in the conventional sense, but in the sort of damsel in distress sense. She was sort of like the helpless female that you know he had to do everything for. You know, oh, good. You know. So how did you get off track? Oh, I didn't get off track. I just did it a different way. She was still dominating him. He still did everything for her. You know, he went to work, uh, came home, put the money in the bank, gave her, could let her do whatever she wanted. You know, that's, you know, that's how it is. I mean, do you have kids? No, I didn't have kids. And why not? Well, you know, it just didn't come together. You know, I wanted to make sure if I had kids that I was, you know, financially secure enough and that I, I could provide them with the kind of, I, I, I'm actually more traditional than you'd think. Like I, I would want to have a husband and have a traditional family. And it just didn't come together in time for yeah. me. Do you regret that now, not having children? Not particularly. No. no. Do you get lonely? No.